Welcome back to Anchor Designs, I'm James, and today we have something really, really cool. Well, I think it's cool, if you own a MyFood. Um, ignore the mess, I've just bought a brand new fancy wood lathe, and I'm having a bit of a change round. Uh, we're starting to get closer to um, better weather here in, the, uh, here in the UK, so there was a my oil burning stove haven't been using it because the temperature's starting to um, be a bit warmer so i've put that in storage for now uh, i'm going to be retiring my diy made wood lathe which has served me really really well um because i bought this which very very briefly it's not today's project but hey ho this is a glaswegian made uh wood lathe which is super super cool i'm very happy to be getting started on that and i'm going to take some of the bits off of this to put on that um with that i've had a little bit of a change round and today we are going to be discussing this this which is well as you can pretty much see it is a uh, i don't know if it's going to be called a shadow board or a tool board uh for the myford lathe so um there's a few designs in this this is the prototype one um if i'm going to be making another one which i will be um it will be either in this video or the next video it will be made out of um, mirror polish stainless steel because it's going to match my fancy looking drip tray so i drew this up first on paper then on cad i use fusion 360 and then this has been laser cut i'll show you some closer up uh, photos and footage of this soon um, but i've designed this to be the length of up to no longer than the length of the bed and um, to the motor at the back here and also be the same height or less than the top of the head of the lathe um, and because I use these barbecue covers to protect the lathe when I'm not in the shed and it does get a little bit cold, I've rounded all the corners off so hopefully nothing's going to be sharp. Uh, with this I have tried to make it as easy as manufacturable as possible um, and kind of to incorporate all of my most used tools. Um, as well as keeping this on the tool stand as mobile as possible um, and less draw openings etc so generally it is 600 mil wide um, and i have recently upgraded my myford to use um, quick tool change uh, holders which is great so as you can probably figure this one out yourself this is designed to these tabs to be pulled up here so let's get a closer view of this and see what the features are okay i hope you can kind of figure out everything that's in front of you so let's go through it so first of all the obvious ones are these are going to be folded up um, by hand and i'll show you that uh, very very shortly uh, this top piece here is a two-piece fold so you're going to fold this one out first here and then you should i don't think you can very easily to be honest um, be able to fold this in one um, and make this into a shelf and i think it's i think it's about two inches wide so you can have a little shelf or put a little tray here on the top for I don't know a, a marker or something like that so let's go through the um uh, the important bits these ones here and um, so i use these t-handled allen keys all the time so these are designed to go into here uh, for stuff like on the tool post and uh, another allen key i can't remember which one what the other one's for but i know i use two different sizes can't remember now so designed to have two dedicated tools that go in this station here uh, the big one, of course, is the chuck key. So these are folded up twice again, and this is to cradle the chuck key here. One there gives you the option, and it also will fit the um, Jacob's uh, chuck key for um, the tailstock, which is really, really good. Uh, this one in here is designed to fold up, and I've got a Jubilee clip that is going to actually fit in there, like so. And this is going to be a bracket for coolant or paraffin. When I'm, when I'm cutting aluminium, I use a lot of paraffin. And this is going to be a little station for that, which I'll 
very quickly to show you. So these are um, tattoo bottles, and these are great, so you just give them a little squeeze, and um, yeah, you don't get absolutely loads of coolant everywhere, and it's much more controllable. The Jubilee clip is going to go into there, like so. So yeah, I've measured those correctly, and you put that on that side, and this is going to give you a nice and solid stainless ring. And I could have done this with putting a micro tag on one of these, and be able to have something that bends off and then hooks round. But this is adjustable, it can't move, it's already made of stainless steel, and it just works. You can design anything in, in something like this, and you can get as technical as you actually absolutely want it to, but yeah, is it worth it? So we've got coolant, nice and handy there. Uh, we've got Allen keys that are going to go here, and then we've got uh, 4, 8, 12 different options for this. I'll be honest, I think I've only got six. Um, four came with standard with a um, parting tool, and then I bought two extras. Uh, but it's, it's nice to give you the options. These look pretty far spaced apart, but my idea was by the time that you've put something like a boring bar in here and a tool, yeah, it's going to take up quite a bit of space, but these are going to be folded up to around that sort of angle, um, but nice and easy to grab. It's going to be made out of stainless steel. The nice and easy radius is on here, and it's going to keep the tool in nice and safe and rust free. Let's take a look at the construction a little bit closer. So I designed this to be able to kind of be a pre-cut part that I could bring home and fold this by hand which you can fold this by hand um, but you want to make sure you've had your Weetabix and a pretty strong coffee in the morning because this is two mil thick mild steel. Um, I can bend these sides with the homemade press brake um, that I built um, if I wanted to but well that's kind of not the idea. Um, this folds round in on itself and this creates ideally some sort of tension to keep the sides in square. Probably not really needed, um, but you've got mounting points to put to your um, put to your base, whatever. Um, and this is, as I say, it's two mil mild steel. Now this is the prototype. Mark II, as I say, will be out of stainless steel, and I'm actually going to reduce the thickness to 1.5 mil because I think the rigidity is going to be more than enough um, and outlast me. So yeah, that's that's kind of the. That's the deal. I was going to change this to an anchor, but I think that just looks a little bit more smarter, I think, instead of having, having an anchor on the side. Okay, I have got a little bit of a concern, which is, I never really thought about this, um, which is the logo, which, yeah, is, I think, technically stealing, uh, which I've got to be really, really careful about. These aren't going to be for sale. Um, I'm not in the business of this to try and make money. These are designs that I do for myself and build, etc, etc. And I enjoy the process of doing it, making it and using it. Um, you know, this is going to be with the lathe for probably as long as I live. So, th you know, this has got to be right. It's not cheap to do this. So it has got to be correct. Um, so I think for me, this shouldn't be a problem. But if I were to try and sell these, which I'm not going to, would be an issue. Um, I never gave a thought of this, and rather foolishly, I put this on uh, the uh, MyFood Facebook group, and yeah, the, the old boys came out again and, and slaughtered the idea. So, Mark II, I've already made some changes. For whatever reason, these should be radius um, to be the same sort of 10 millimeter radii um, to match these. That really upsets my OCD, and I've also put four holes in each corner here. What for, you ask? Well, I've got some really nice acrylic, and I'm going to have that on the uh, mirror polished stainless steel on the side there, and it's got four screw holes onto here, um, which I think they're um, M5, so I'm going to uh, clamp this down, drill these to 4.2, is that right? 4.2. And then put some nice cap-head stainless steel screws to mount that on. But I think that that looks fantastic. So I'm going to fit this up. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you me bending some of these tabs. And you're going to see how either really easy it is 
or really difficult it is and how it kind of worked with the functionality of it. Okay. Okay, I'm not on my workbench at the minute, but I'm hoping you kind of get the general gist. So I've got Uno Big O Screwdrivo, Vice Grippo, uh, Tall Holdio, and um, yeah, so I have cheated. I did try this, but I didn't fully put it up. Um, you'll see close here that we've actually got some relief holes. So there's some three mil um, tiny little corners on there. So you're not going to be able to crease this and potentially split it. Not that we're going to be bending these up and down. So big O screwdriver. Give that a little bit of a bend. flat ones like so Ooh, they, fit. they fit really nice yeah okay quite like that what I'd probably do is use a, um, a, a, a square body so a combination square body hold on I might have one handy look at that to use this as a bit of a guide uh, but is it really that necessary yeah so I'll probably use this fold these up and we'll look at folding the other parts as well Okay, so as you can see, grabby grabby, slidey slidey, droppy droppy, no problem MO, slidey slidey, and repeat. Um, so yeah, I think that is pretty good actually. Um, my only concern would be dropping it down by half a mil is, at the minute, these are quite nice and secure, but they're not going to move anywhere, um, so I'm not really concerned. With these, you can actually bend this by hand, like so, and then bend those ones up. I don't know if you can with this. I haven't put any reliefs in these corners, which I'll have to change. I think something went wrong with my file, because I remember doing those and putting the rads in, um, because I copied this and then um, changed the datum point and moved it over here. Yeah, fancy, fancy wording for... I copied that and moved it over here to a set dimension. Um, but I think it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to try the hardest pit, which I think is this one here, which is why I put a relief in here. I know this looks a lot bigger, but actually measurement-wise, is these split points here are actually smaller than these. So let's see how it goes. It's a bit crude, isn't it? It is a bit crude. Uh. Oh, this one's actually a lot easier. Oh. That's pretty close that. Probably overbend it a little bit just to keep the bottle on, which is here. Then with a tie wrap, sorry, not a tie wrap, we could use a tie wrap, a Jubilee clip. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Okay, I don't think the Jubilee clip that I've got is nowhere near going to be big enough. So it's going to have to be about three inches, um, or 80 mil ish, or three and uh, an eighth, whatever that is, um, which is going to be roughly the same size as this. Because I had an idea of just, you know, just put two holes in. You can use an exhaust clamp, and it's uh, it probably looks a little bit better, um, and it fits in there quite nicely. And I've got quite a few of these, which was for a project that. 
well, it didn't work, so <laughs> I managed to salvage those off. So, but I think this on the other side, and it's already stainless steel. I don't think we can get those in stainless steel. I think that's quite a nice, simple solution for a little problem. What I would say is that whilst that is going to be sat on here, if I did want to put the chuck key on there, um, although that one was meant to be for the um, chuck key, bear with. Okay, just bent these up, uh, just a little bit of a cheeky test there, and you know what, I'm pretty happy with that. That goes on there fine. Um, it is a little bit in the way, but it's still accessible, it's not awkward. Um, it's going to work the same for the chuck key. Here is a chuck key. There is nothing wrong with that at all, and it's not going to hit my little shelf. Um, this shelf, other part here, is going to be folded up. I hope you can see that okay, to then make a hook round if I want it to. Um, but you're still able to put those on. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's these side points here, which I'll just show you very quickly. Okay, hope you can see that all right. I've just bent up these and had a bit of a play off camera. Um, I do use these sometimes, which is the uh, T-handles. Um, you can't kind of feel the tension, and it sounds a bit weird. If you're a bit of a gorilla like me, sometimes you can use this and not realize how much actually force you're putting down on them. So I tend to just use these, um, which work fine if this was, you know, up uh, so the other one can go in there so I think all in all for my situation yeah I think it um, it does work pretty well um, I might what I might do if people are interested I could take this out um, and I could put I don't know maybe an anchor on the top here um, and then put four holes on each corner here Leave these, so you can cut these off if you don't want them. Um, four holes in each corner, and you can actually mount this to your wall. Um, behind your lathe, if that's how you do it. I'm doing it this way because I have got mounting points, uh, holes at the, at the side. It's going to be kept square, um, and this is going to be mobile. So my lathe is mobile, as it is on a tall chest. So I, I don't own this... Um, this workshop is rented, the landlord is a bit funny, he doesn't want me to drill holes in the walls, etc. Or paint the walls, I wanted to paint the walls, but yeah, I'm not allowed to do that, so I'm allowed to put my stuff in here, etc. So for my current situation, where I am in the world right now, yeah, this is going to be the best thing for me. Um, so, uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. I think I'm going to go ahead. I've got some little changes to make, put some holes in here, and I'm going to reduce the thickness to try and make it a little bit easier to fold by hand. Um, yeah, let's get it out of stainless and see what that looks like. <laughs> 